Okay, Marie, go ahead. Hello again. Today we are here to present again our um, project, our company, Not Green Fighter. And um, Tom, as the last time, always the same group member with us, Yutao, Kewei, uh, Kenisha, he's just not here, sorry about that. And Matthew, Abebra, and then me, Muntri. Okay, it's just, I would like to tell you a little bit about our company missions. This means that um, we do the food distribution. And the mission of our company is to provide the consumer with the freshness, the most comprehensive, and the highest quality for the for our ticket distribution channel. Again, only very two simple objectives of our company is to service the is to give the best product with the best service. Just only two simple um, objectives, but. I think that this will hang out and this will give us a lot of um, uh, competitive and uh, success in our marketplace. And uh, first of all, we would like to summarize a little bit about our midterm project that we have presented already. The research case, uh, this disaster co recoveries, and the capstone scale in which that we have uh, present some some queries, some um, kind of special report that will give you specific information with specific um, uh, required, which in specific moment that whatever you want. And today, with the final project, we would like to present some other case, analyst case, with some uh, exercise, exercise in the book that you have uh, done it already and with, together with some practice exercise. And uh, I would like to present you down. Hi. Hi, everybody. So today I'm going to talk about, uh, talk about using the input maps and parameters in our database. Uh, so input maps can uh, instruct the, uh, the data being input into a field by specifying the exact format of the data entry. So uh, in this case, in this case, we are going to uh, we want our uh, customers ID fields to sold uh, must be five numeric characters in all other case. So we open the the table in the side field and then click the customer ID and then go down to the input mask and then click the right side button. The input mask results will come, uh, research will come out. We choose the first one and uh, go next and finish our setting. After we finish the setting and go back to the data sheet, uh, data sheet field, you can see all the data under the customer ID fields are five non-numeric characters and uh, based on these settings, even though the even though users want to change, uh, want to change the customer ID to numbers or like uh, like something else, it will not working. So next, uh, next we are we are going to uh, add the parameters to the year column so the users can enter a year at runtime and see one year's results at a time. So first of all, we, um, we need to open the probably shipments by uh, vendor and year uh, in design build. And then we click this, this field and then uh, right click it and then open the zone. And then type the year uh, column, uh, year ship days, and then click OK. Uh, we go down to the total and total road and then uh, select the group by. We, end, uh, we type the enter year in criteria, and then, uh, so now all, uh, yeah, all the information we need, uh, we already put it into, we already 
and we already entered into the, the query. So next we're going to click the rat. After we click the rat, uh, the enter uh, parameter value boxes will coming out. So we just need to enter the enter the year and then like, uh, or, like, all the results you want will show out. Now I would like to present Kyle. Will present in this case. Hello. Um, in this case, we'll be needing uh, to create two uh, calculated fields. One is the net field that calculates the difference between the revenue and the total cost, with rounded to the nearest dollar, and that's the two fields. And the other one is the profit and loss field, uh, uh, which display profit when the value of the net field is greater than zero and loss when it's less than or equals to zero. So here, we'll need to use the expression builder to uh, build the fields. Uh, the first one for the net field, uh, uh, we need to use the round function to round the uh, uh, result when, uh, to round the result of revenue minus the total cost. For the second one, uh, profit loss, we need to use the if function uh, so when the, you can, as you can see up here, uh, when the net field is uh, bigger than zero, it will show profit, uh, else it will show loss. Thank you. Okay, and um, the next case is how to create a button with the macro to fill the order record, the record that you, you want. Um, absolutely, it will be in uh, the design view, and then uh, when you um, uh, you create the form first, and then in the design view you create the button, and with the button on the pro uh, properties, on the data tab, and on click uh, property, you set the macro macro. And with the macro, you will uh, apply the, um, the condition for the macro. This means that when you click the button, and the, um, the condition will just apply for the employee with uh, number three. OK, here's the result. When you strain into the um, form view, it's like that, and when you click the button number three, and here the filter will automatically do. It will display just the record. There's seven records for the employee tree. And then again, in the case they ask you to create uh, some uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and the is button. The is button that will be clear the uh, clear the form. Yeah, clear the filter. This means that here, for example, when you click on this uh, button three, and then the form will just display the filter for just employee ID three. And here, when you click at the button X, and then there's no filter at all, the result will display total, uh, totally 50 uh, records for you. Okay. And the other case is um, I just want to present the how to create a report that will enable you to make selection according to the specific entries. For example, in this case, we will do with the country code. Uh, like when you open the database and when you click on the customer, there's no appear, but they just ask you to enter the country code. This means that it asks you what country you want to see. So uh, here, to do that, in the design view and in the properties, always you um, do inside the resource, um, in the data tab, resource, um, record source, and you will get this um, a function. Uh, yes, this is the result for that. 
when you do all everything already and when you click um, this means that when you click here click on the customer and then when you enter the uh, country code for example in this case it's the USA and when you enter USA the result will just uh, appear for you just the country USA okay uh, we have the question to answer why is it important to do so to create the enter parameter uh, for the specific information and here we would like to present some of the answer this means that for the user can quickly view and immediately go to get necessary information uh, the other answer is that we have this uh, flexibility that enables us to control the content of the report. For example, someone who just want to see the report, but the report we create here in our database is in um, in company in enterprise. Uh, normally, it is uh, quite a secret information. It just give to the specific people inside the company or uh, in the um, subject matter to know or, or to do about that. So whenever whoever want, um, want to see the report, they have to be inside the matter to get to, to know that. Okay, and more specific that when we are able to create the, um, the report like that, this means that we have the knowledge, we have enough skill in the access, uh, uh, in the um, CIT uh, uh, area already. So that this means that shoulder report has been designed by a more experienced database designer. And the report will also be better format and layout, it's uh, obviously. And in the um, um, real business uh, setting, this kind of report uh, more and more become the specific management tool for, for them. Okay, <laughs> and, and the other case um, will be the mid-level uh, um, exercise, but this one is, uh, I think it's very easy because it just uh, repeat all the hand-on exercise, so I just uh, want to show a little bit about that. And then, because this exercise asks you to create some kind of specif uh, um, special queries like update query, append query, make table query, and delete query, it's real very easy. Just follow the step on the book. And also, with the practice exercise, uh, how to create a format report based on user request or really several output uh, formats uh, for the product slide. Um, to how to export uh, the database in that, no, how to export the file from database to other kind of format, for example, Excel, Excel, Word, PDF, Excel. And here on the um, tool, we have the external data and uh, database tool. And here you can see, you, we, you can Im import Excel, Excel, or uh, Word, anything to, into Excel and also you can export from asset to many other kinds of files. Uh, okay, thank you, Kai Wen. Uh, he will present. Okay, um, so in co conclusion and from where we show in the cases, Access is a, a professional information management tool that helps you store information uh, for reference, reporting, and analysis. Uh, it's also more helpful in analyzing large amounts of information and can manage uh, related data more efficiently than Excel or other submission applications. So, um, after all, we think that Access is a great tool which can uh, uh, surely help you successfully achieve your business objectives. Thank you. Any questions? Fine job, guys. Excellent job.